Hello, Danny Evans here, another car video. Topic of this video is a woman's body cat is only good for sex and nothing else. So before I get into this video, I uh, just want to let you guys know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives, from dating, relationships, health, wealth, and mindset. I want you guys to be the best versions of yourself. So welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new, uh, welcome. For those of you who have been here for a while, welcome. If you have not done so, definitely subscribe and hit the notification button so, you, so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you just want to support me, if you like my video or my videos, definitely hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you. So let's get back to topic of this video a woman's body count is only good for sex and nothing else a lot of guys think a woman's body count is the end all be all and um, is the holy grail of how you should treat a woman and whether you should date her or not and all that good stuff and all that bad stuff and it's really a lot of poppycock and uh, a lot of men put so much value on a woman's sex or body count um, because their body count is either not as high or they're not able to get sex as consistently as they want for free. So a lot of men come from a place of insecurity and jealousy and it's just not good when you are a strong man. If you understand a woman's body count has nothing to do, but it's just one part of her as opposed to all of her. Too many people, too many men put too much value on a woman's body count and not enough value on the woman herself so uh, let's get into the list here and I have a bonus got the, the four regulars uh, the four um, reasons a woman's body count is only good for sex and nothing else and I got the bonus the bonus so stay to the end for the bonus all right reason number one is woman's body count does not determine whether it's high of course or low it does not determine whether she is going to be good in a relationship a woman with a low body count could be bad in a relationship a woman with a high body count could be bad in a relationship it doesn't matter because it's all about how she treats you does she respect you does she follow your lead does she cooperate with you does she make your life easier if yes, what does that have to do with the body count? And if no, what does that have to do with the body count? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, too many men put too much emphasis on it. And they don't understand what's really important, especially if you're looking for a relationship. The body count is minute, very minute. You know what I mean? When it comes to the overall complexity of the relationship. So that's the first, first uh, reason there. A woman's body count is only good for sex and nothing else. Second reason here. It does not determine whether or how masculine she's going to be. You know, a lot of guys say, oh man, you know. Um, and also when it comes to the first point, pair bonding. That's how good she'll be in a relationship doesn't matter if she checks all the boxes but yeah you know how masculine some guys some guys think oh because she has sex with a lot of guys or she's had sex with a lot of guys she got to be masculine and she got to be you know going after it sometimes they do that but most times they just happen to find guys they find attractive and then they met, let things play out and it happens they have to have, happen to have uh, sex with the guy maybe the guy they're not looking for anything serious you know what I mean? It's like high body count does not mean she's a masculine woman all the time. Or even majority of the time. It could have been she just was with the, she found men who were in their masculine and she just wanted to be with them. And that's just what it is. But every other time in life, she's more feminine. You know, you have to understand a woman's body count and even a man's body count aspect of them it's not all of them so you have to 
keep that in mind. Don't judge somebody off of one thing they do, even if they're dealing with a whole bunch of people. They haven't done it with you. It doesn't matter. Go off of what they they do with you. And uh, especially if she's feminine. Follow that. If she's feminine towards you, fuck what she... Forget about what she might have done in the past in terms of sex because it literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So third reason was body count is only good for sex and nothing else is because it does not determine the level of respect you should or she deserves. Because again, if she's a good person, what does her high body count matter? Or low body count. Don't you respect people who are good people? And do you think somebody who has sex with a lot of people consensually is a bad person? Does that mean they deserve less respect? Just because they've had sex with a lot of people? I mean, let me know. Let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? Because... A lot of guys think just because a woman's had sex with a lot of guys that she's a slut, she's a whore. And roo, roo. You never know what the situation was. You know, maybe she just going through a phase. Maybe she just, you know, again, found a lot of guys she found attractive. Could have, Some could have lasted for a night. Some could have lasted for a few months. Some could have lasted for a year. Some could have lasted for a few weeks. It just is a situation. It just doesn't matter. So you should not be disrespecting the woman just because she has a high body count. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm making a lot of these red pill guys mad and some of y'all going to be coming at me in my comments. But it doesn't matter because it just, if she's a good person, she's a good person. Regardless if she slept with one person or a million people. If she's a good person, she's a good person. Don't you judge people off of their character. And like off of how they treat you. It's crazy, man. It really is. But if you've made it this far in the, the video, I appreciate you. Thank you. Definitely subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. So the fourth reason is a woman who has a high body count. Is only good for sex in terms of a woman's body count is only good for sex and nothing else is because it does not determine the value of that woman because again as I've been saying the body count only deals with sex and that's a very small aspect of a relationship in of a person if she's you know, submissive to you. She cooperates with you. She makes your life easier. She's fun to be around. You know, she's intelligent. She's funny. She keeps you entertained. She helps you with your business. She cooks for you. She has sex with you whenever you want. She supports you. You're going to throw all that away because of a body count, a high body count, all the value she's bringing to you, you're going to throw it away because she has a high body count. And I've heard this. A lot of guys, their issues with women with high body counts is only because they don't want to be judged by other guys who might have slept with them, slept with that woman. So it's based in insecurity. They don't want to be judged by other guys who might have slept with that woman. That is the only reason, or the main reason I've heard. The main reason. Because they do not want to be judged by other guys who might have slept with that woman. They don't want a woman with a high body count. So they're basing their, their reasons on insecure reasons in which makes them weak men. And that's just what it is. They're weak men. Weak men judge are, 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 are going to be swayed by the opinion of others when it has nothing to do with them. That's 
But if somebody wants to judge you because of the woman, why would you care what that person thinks? Why do you worry about that person? They're obviously not supposed to be in your life. They're not that important. But yeah, what do I know, right? So yes, 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 we got the bonus here. And the bonus reason, and it may be obvious one, the bonus reason, a woman's body count does not matter for anything besides sex is because a woman will have sexual experience. A woman will have sexual experience. That is the key. You want to her to be able to have sexual experience so you will be pleased sexually and I'm sure she wants you to have sexual experience so you will be pleased sexually or so she will be pleased sexually and nothing more that is all a woman's high body count is good for because all you guys all want a woman with a low body count but then you get in bed with her and she's terrible. She doesn't know how to do anything or she doesn't do it well. It's like you're not thinking. And again, this is only a small aspect of a relationship and of a person. But it's like, if you're going to have sex with somebody, especially if it's somebody you want to be in a relationship with, you better make sure it's good, right? So you think, and even if you want to learn, sure, you could learn, you could teach the girl. But even then, it's like, it's only limited to how much you know. So if you have low sexual experience, or even if you have high sexual experience, you're only going to be limited. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I appreciate it. Um, that's just it. That was the bonus there. Sexual experience of a woman that she will gain she has a high body count it's invaluable because not all women are good in bed not all women are good in bed so that is all i got for y'all let me know what you think whether you agree with my list or you don't let me know if i missed something or you think everything was spot on um definitely be respectful in the comments you know what i mean um of course i like comment subscribe hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever i upload some new videos and uh, definitely know, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about, whether it's the health, wealth, dating, relationships, mindset, all that good stuff. Whew. And of course, if you found value in this video, let me uh, know by donating any little bit counts. So I appreciate you guys and I thank you for that as well. Of course, uh, I go you know, upload these videos every week, generally speaking. Um, let me know what other, um, and of course, uh, I want y'all to stay safe and until next week, always remember the strongest man is the happiest man.